Can floating solar farms help us achieve net zero? What are floating solar farms? Floating solar farms are created by attaching solar photovoltaic panels to a buoyant platform which rests above the water's surface. The technology uses free spaces on water sources such as lakes, reservoirs, industrial ponds, or near coastal areas. This makes solar energy systems possible for even islands that might not have enough roofs or land space. The first floating solar farm was SwimSol, founded by Martin Putzcheck in 2012. Why create floating solar farms? Space on land can be expensive and crowded. Solar farms can also cause tension with farmers and organizations who need to use the land for other purposes. How do floating solar farms work? They work similarly to land-based solar energy systems. Multiple solar panels are wired together to form a large photovoltaic installation called an array, which is affixed on a floating platform. The inverter device in solar panels then converts the DC electricity to alternating current, or AC electricity, which the electrical grid uses. Floating solar farms are seen as a critical technological solution to decarbonizing countries by 2050. Where are the largest ones? Guzhou, China has the largest floating solar farm in the world as of 2022, collecting 320 megawatts of energy. It's used to decarbonize the city of Duzhou. This city of 5 million people is known as Solar Valley. Experts claim that Duzhou gets about 98% of its power from solar energy. A larger system is being built in Madhya Pradesh in central India on the Narmada River. This system will generate 600 megawatts of power by 2023. Singapore has the Semcorp floating solar farm that generates 60 megawatts of electricity. And the Sirindhorn Dam floating solar farm generates about 45 megawatts of electricity in Thailand.